Welcome back to Let's Play The Evil Within. I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... <laughs> Last time we fought our way through uh, the tower and across a great big wall in order to get... Does it seem a little harder to move lately? Here. Facing a graveyard. Given all the horrible shit that has happened in seemingly innocuous places in this game, I don't even want to think of what's going to happen to us in there, even in broad daylight. Oh, uh, there is nothing I would rather do less than walk through that gate. I take it back! I take it back! Oh, hey, we're back. Uh, well, let's get on with it. Sure beats the alternative. I feel like that chained up statue is one of the things in the photos. Oh. I'm out, check. Hmm, that seems odd. Oh, that's right, that was where grenades were. I guess I'll put the sniper rifle there for now. That's not what I meant to do. <clears throat> Just the one. Fine. One of these days, that's going to be a trap, and it's like, oh, now it's much less heavy, and it's going to lift up off the ground. This looks like some kind of a marketplace. It looks deserted, just like everywhere else. We ought to keep moving. Oh, so it's not a graveyard. Great. much preferable to uh, Bennett Foddy's getting over it. Oh, that looks like a trap. Oh, fine. Fuck. Okay, one of these. Here we go. Harder to move lately. Shit, I think I got a tip about that. Nope, that wasn't it. I guess it was for wall explosives. It was Sudden Hippleys who gave me that tip. Ha! Excellent. What is that, a space heater, a radio? Oh, right. Oh, good. Father was a stern man, proud, and I thought intelligent, but he was also pious, a believer. Somehow he always supported the church no matter what the newspapers said. To move lately? He waved away the allegations as if they were infallible. The wretched, the vermin, the stern, all were taken in by that church. 
They were promised salvation and eternal life. But there's nothing they could promise that I couldn't take away. Does it seem a little harder to Oh my later? god, Joseph, shut up. It doesn't seem any harder to move. You're just going crazy and turning into a monster. Shout out to Yornik, who informed me that the voice of Ruvik is provided by actor Jackie Earl Haley, who, uh, he says played Rorschach in the Watchmen movie. I've always felt Watchmen is a bit too bleak for my tastes, but I won't hold that against him. Uh, I believe he also played, uh... Uh, Freddy Krueger in the reboot of A Nightmare on Elm Street. I've got to be honest, the place I'm most familiar with him from is, uh, of all things, uh, a TV show he did for a season or two called Human Target. Again with the bird cages. Excuse me. Why, hello there, passageway. Everyone knows it's quieter closer to the ground. Ooh, that would have been a great place to put a bear trap. Making sure. While I'm doing shout outs, uh. Does it seem a little uh, harder God to move lately? <laughs> uh, shout out to Fatal Racing Driver, who, uh, I haven't heard from in a while. She reminds me of, a uh, Viscera Cleanup Detail. The game where you're the janitor who has to clean up after scenes of horror movies and, uh, video games. <laughs> I kind of agree with the assessment that in this case, a mop and bucket just isn't gonna cut it in places like that, uh, horrible factory where I went waist-deep in blood. I don't think anyone's been here in a while. Those paintings are uh, clearly a bit weathered. Missed. And also shout out to Michael Scott, who left a comment say, uh, on a video where I professed a dislike of the sound of my own voice <laughs> by saying that I uh, my voice is very pleasant, I have gravitas and in inflection, which is something that few YouTubers have. <laughs> Shameless flattery will get you everywhere. Uh, he left this comment on an Alan Wake video, so I'm not sure he'll ever hear this. But, you know, I appreciate it all the same. I always enjoy in the older series continue to get comments. I periodically get people thanking me for, uh, the video where I solved the Redirect the Beams puzzle in Darksiders 1. Where do you suppose we are? More like when? This architecture seems straight out of the Middle Ages. Yeah, but there's electricity. Elevators. This place can't be real. It's like jumbled up memories. I mean, we're here. And now it is a graveyard. I was right the first time. 
Is it too late to go back for the cauldron? I can't, uh, this is as fast as I'm moving here. This is going to be a dramatic sequence, I guess. Oh, god damn it. Don't turn into a monster. Shit. Let's hide out in here for a minute. Flask, this is not a radio. Like, Seb, after the accident. Well, I never put a gun to my head. No, of course not. Just quietly sank into a bottle. Ooh. We can't all be perfect. It never affected my work. But hey, you read the IA report. You know I didn't report you because I was worried about your work, Sebastian. <laughs> what else is there? We don't have time for this. I need my partner here. I'm counting on you. That's a big saw. Map Fragment 12, uh, Cedar Hill Church. Find something? Maybe. It's all symbols. Some kind of cult? Could be useful. I think I'm okay. We should probably get going. I've just noticed that the matchbooks are uh, branded with the Asylum's logo. Got it. It's just newspaper clippings. I'm trying to get a closer look. Uh, sorry, I'll just get out of your way. That's a lot of meat. It's an unnecessarily... Oh, that's a torture device of some kind. I thought that was a rolling pin. I don't think you're supposed to store heads that way. I'm just saying. Tell you what, Joseph. If you turn into a monster, I'll uh, hit you with a flash harpoon and then uh, stab you right in the brain. It'll be nice and quick. Uh. Yep, there's that statue. Which means there's uh, only a couple left before we get to the big hole in the ground with a monster in it. I guess I did just find a key, didn't I? Okay, I would like these bullets. Well, some of these bullets, anyway. How about this one right here in the middle? No? Yes. Hmm. 
know, that actually seems like it could be really useful. Let's go with that. Pastor Graciano. Missing. Pastor Salvador Graciano. Pastor Graciano and several parishioners at Cedar Hill Church are missing. The church has been locked up tight since they disappeared. It's not really the sort of information you put on one of those, really. Uh, church investigation. Pastor under investigation. Parish may have broken church bylaws. Pastor Salvador Graciano denies uh, allegations of financial impropriety. Church officials investigating lack of records on cash donations and spending by the parish. Let me see here. Uh, Earth aligns with Venus and Mars tonight. Archaeological treasure. Fifteen soldiers killed in action. Crimson Waste Management uh, Union on strike. She looks like it says orb up, but I don't think that's what it says. I assume it's like union or something. Uh, night out ends in tragedy as disco burns down to ashes. I'm going to assume that's uh, referring to the extremely outdated term for a nightclub, a discotheque, and not, you know, to uh, <laughs> the concept of disco. Oh, shit, I need to save. Just in case this mirror doesn't come back. As everyone knows, Disco has been dead since the 70s. Are we not going to talk about how weird it is that people are turning into monsters? It's not at all. We're just going to deal with it. I wonder what accident they were talking about that made Sebastian into an alcoholic, apparently. I'm just gonna pull this tarp off, which is covered in bloody handprints for some reason. And there's gonna be a giant man underneath. Hold on a minute. Let me climb up here and see if I can get a look ahead. That's a rifle. You all right? Yeah. Kidman. Hey, that's Kidman. Who's that she's with? It was Leslie, duh. Wait, have you met Leslie? Hey, Sebastian, you should check out this rifle. It has unlimited ammo. What I found. Seems to be in working condition. Go on ahead, I'll cover you. That reminds me. Oh, I guess it's true then. I can't go back to the save room, and I'm really glad I saved. Um... There was a thing I wanted to share with you guys. Okay, so episode 19. The cutscene in the corridor where it flickered to something else for a bit. I said I would go over it frame by frame, and when I did, I found this. When it isn't showing the doctor standing in the hallway before he injects me in the face with some unknown chemicals, it's showing Kidman standing in some kind of mad science room. With the tanks in the background, it reminds me of that place where I found those dudes who had the cables sticking out of the backs of their heads. But I have no idea why I would be there, why Kidman would be there, or why it would be showing me this at the same time as the doctor who was uh, injecting me with whatever medicines or serums. Very mysterious. First things first, let's go back here. OK. 
Okay. Really? You have this little path and nothing to steal? Oh, this is just where we came in. Yeah, that's where, uh, Joseph's blood should be. Or is it there? Doesn't matter. Is that a sniper? Oh! Find cover. They're shooting. Nice. Oh. It's corpses. Lots and lots of corpses. Let's not burn that, it would be pointless anyway. Soaked in water as it is. Damn it. I can't move. Why can't he... He runs sometimes and not others? I'll you know, siphon it out of the water. And BD. Oh, you're not an enemy, you're just meat. What was that? Oh! That's a weird place to leave that, but alright. Ugh. So my pants are soaked in blood, and now my shoes are drenched in corpse water. Awesome. The timer did go during that fight, though, so uh, I'm going to call it here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play the Evil Within when we make our way through this graveyard and uh, try and reunite with Kidman and Leslie. Later.